Hey, what's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Listen, everybody is striving to do a lot of different things when it comes to survival and prep. Sometimes they like to DIY it. And then there are those who like to go out and buy it. Now, if you're one of those ones that like to go out and buy it, you need a 72 hour two person survival kit. I got another one for you. I bring you the Quake Kits two person survival kit. This is a 72 hour kit by this relatively new company called Quake Kits. And we'll dive a little bit more deep into the company itself. But first of all, here's the kit itself. It's, it's in your face, big old duffel bag. So we're going to go over this kit, talk about what you get if you decide to purchase something similar to this. But first about the company itself. So Quake Kits is a wholly owned subsidiary of Guardian Survival Gear. Guardian Survival Gear was established in 2005 in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. Basically, the owner of the company noticed that a lot of folks weren't very prepared. Now, he sold these kits in a wholesale version. He sold them to companies such as Fox News, to the Red Cross, to the Jehovah's Witness Church. These kits were sold based on FEMA and ready.gov requirements. They decided last year with Quake kits to start to become directly customer facing because up until that point, he, you only could buy his kits through a contract wholesale. You couldn't just go to the website and buy a kit. They seem to release their first kits the summer of 2021, August 2021. But I really wanted to grab their 72 hour kit. Now, full disclosure, this company reached out to me first. When they reached out to me, I actually didn't immediately respond to their email. I went on their website and I immediately bought a kit. So I bought this kit with my own money. However, they did send over some extra goodies, which we'll talk about those in a future video when it comes to your bug out vehicle. So how can you customize this kit? It's you basically can you can basically customize these kits three different ways. First, you select the number of warm bodies that need to survive. So this is a two person kit. You can select a one up to four people. So one, two, three, or four person survival kit. Second, you select how long you intend to survive, right? So this is a 72 hour kit. They also have a one week kit. Now the day survival is based on one gallon of water per person per day and 1,000 to 1,800 calories per person per day, depending on what kit you outfit yourself with. Finally, you select your level of preparedness. Now they have their preparedness based on three levels. One is called reasonable, uh, reasonably prepared. The second one is called completely prepared. The third one is called extensively prepared. I purchased the extensively prepared kit and I'll talk about the pricing differences for all three of those. So now that we talked about, you know, how you can outfit these things, I'm going to put on the screen like what's included in each of those kits and which one you might want to buy. I went ahead and went all the way out so you can decide if this is something you want or if you want to scale it back a little bit. Now, listen, if you're getting good content out of this video, make sure you hit that like button. It lets you to know that need to share this with other folks. The bag itself seems to be a, the stitching of the bag is well made, but it does seem to be, you know, I, I don't know the exact description of the bag. It kind of gives me like a polyester vibe type bag, but it does feel, actually feels pretty durable. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but I will say this does have like a little notice on the outside. So it tells you right here on the outside, your kit was built on March, 2022. Now, one thing about these kits is that they are American assembled using globally sourced uh, supplies. That's a good thing to know that it's American assembled. So that may, you know, someone is quality checking every kit to know what is and is not, you know, what's missing from a kit and what, whatever the case may be. So looks like we got some, these aren't labeled as YKK zippers. They seem to be YKK zippers. I don't know if it's a self-correcting type zipper or not. It does feel, fuck it. I don't know how durable that will be. You see, I'm kind of, forcing it that's something you got to think about is like the zipper is going to be self-correcting and these feel durable I'm trying to purposely zip it in different directions and so the zippers do feel durable enough to pass at least my kit to pass my kit test so on this side of the bag there is access for the duffel wheels so you can actually pull this out and you can use this in duffel mode. So if you have a long way to ruck, a long way to walk, then you obviously have the ability to use it this way. It has a grab handle on this side, which seems to be well stitched. 
there's no handle on this side, but it does seem to have like a little reflective coating. So I guess if you're walking, I'm, I'm assuming that's a reflective type coating. So if you're walking, that will catch the reflection of a, of a vehicle. I'm not really sure of that. One large pocket on this side, which is empty. So you can uh, outfit this with extra gear if you want to. So you got a pocket here and you have a pocket in the front, which has a little bit of literature that talks about the different, you know, I just talked about the reasonableness completely and ex ex uh, extensively. So it talks about what's in each of those kits if you decide to get one. I got the extensively. So they also give you a little diagram of what's gonna be inside. So I like the fact that this is on the outside and then obviously you can put whatever you want to on this outside portion. You don't have to leave it with. And last thing on the front here, you ha have a little bit of hook and loop with their logo on it. Let's make our first modification. Quick little modification right here. There we go. Just give you a little warning. So outside of the bag itself, this does feel like they're not OEM. Does definitely feel like if I were to get on the Amazon machines or something like that, I would be able to find this bag pretty quickly. But you know, it does seem water resistant and all that good stuff. The very front here is one complaint is there's only one zipper on this front pocket. I would like for this to be accessible in more than one direction. Uh, similar to up here, there's two zippers. So that way I can keep it closed in the middle. I can also put a lock on this thing if I wanted to. You can't do that with that front zipper or any of, or this zipper for this side pouch. But let's dive into it real quick. See what we got working with. So this is a top shot just to see what the bag looks like relatively neatly packed. Now you gotta remember this type of kit, 72 hour survival kit, whether you're surviving in your house, you're dragging this thing into the woods or whatever the case may be, it's pretty compact, but you gotta, you gotta think that when you're using this, you intend to deploy it and use the items inside. So it may be hard to get this stuff back in and out for a type of review like this, but you gotta, in real world, you wouldn't be going in this thing very often. First thing we got on top is a canteen cup. The canteen, the cup itself, boom. First thing you see, it's made in China. Hopefully it is pretty re heat resistant, but it is nice to just have a, a cup. They do have a water filtration bottle, Seychelle. Seychelle water filtration bottle, US patented, tested to EPA approved methods. Cool. So this is a similar to the Grayel. Grayel has those water filtration bottles where you can, you know, you put the water in and it filters the water as you drink the water. This is good because life straws are cool and all that good stuff, but those type of straws, you have to you know, put your mouth to the water source, like to the river, whereas this, you can put the water inside and then keep the water source with you. This removes 99% of chemicals and solids. Now you got a lot of these black little kits here. Additional upgrades, okay? So each of these, uh, bags correspond to these little labels here. So this first one is food and water and tools and first aid. I just pulled out an additional upgrade bag, right? And so I can see that the additional upgrade bags, they correspond with one another. So additional upgrade bag, here's a, uh, they are resellable bags, that's a good thing. So in this bad boy, you got some, uh, a, a folding stove with fuel. I think that's the first time I've seen that in one of these type of kits. You got a folding stove with some fuel and then they give you a bunch of safety mats. You could always throw your own matches in here. So this thing smells real ratchet. The fuel is what I'm smelling in that. All right, so we have this bag here, which is, which is a food bag. So we got the food bag, things feeling pretty hefty food and water. I don't know how many are in here. This is a two person kit. All right, so this bag is completely full of the emergency drinking water. It also has some water purification tabs, a straw so you can drink out of whatever source you're using, more of the water. And you got your first chunk of the food rations. Now there is a stove with this kit. You don't need a stove for these type of food rations. So my assumption is either A, they're providing you something that gives you the ability to cook or boil water, 
which is this canteen cup would allow for you to boil water or B, they're giving you something where you could trap food, which I doubt. We have a hygiene station. So you got a little hygiene bag here, which is, so you got some bags here. These bags are for when you go number two. So you can keep that fecal matter. If you're campsite or something like that, you can dig a hole. You can go inside of this thing, keep your fecal matter away from you. You got some pocket tissue. You got a, looks like a face towel inside the face towel. Well, let's see. First off, you got some uh, feminine products here, which obviously you can use for if you need the feminine products, but you can also use it if you're bleeding. Inside of this washcloth is some soap, a little razor, and some uh, shampoo, some toothbrush, toothpaste. So some pretty common items, but they also give you some face masks. All right, next we have some light and comms. For the light and comms, you got, uh, we got a four in one flashlight. This thing has a mobile phone charger. It has an AM, FM radio, a panic alarm, and um, also you got the LED light itself. So it seems to do quite a few things. I don't know if it has an emergency radio. AM, FM radio doesn't indicate it's an emergency radio where you get the emergency broadbands. Um, according to this, I'm not really seeing that. So it's cool that this thing does a lot of stuff, but I think I would prefer to get the emergency broadband but it never needs lights never needs batteries so this is a i'm assuming it works off of solar or crank yeah it's crank so you can crank wind up power am fm antenna winding for one minute creates enough power for one led to last 90 minutes or three leds to last 30 minutes so it has three led lights on the very front of this thing if you wind it for one minute continuously, those three LEDs will last for 30 minutes. That's pretty sweet. It's actually pretty cool. You also have a uh, light stick or a chem light, whatever you want to call it. You have a fire starter. So you got the flint and striker and I don't know what brand this is. I would recommend you pull this thing out and at least wear it, wear it in a little bit, get a few strikes on it. And you got some playing cards, keep busy. You can also use this for marking if you're walking in any type of survival situation. And then you have a candle, which does not have a way to snuff out the candle. I don't like blowing out candles. I like to snuff them out. I don't see, I'm not seeing a way to snuff this candle out, but this is one of those emergency candles. This thing goes, doesn't say how long it goes. Doesn't look like it to go that long. This might go 30 hours. I have bigger candles that go about 115 hours. This one is about, one third those size. So I'm just gonna guess probably about 30 hours on that candle. Now there may be duplicates of these bags um, because this is a two person kit. So I'm just pulling them out as I see them, trying to let you know what I see as we go. This is tools and first aid, tools and first aid. Tools and first aid, you got a memo book. It's not weatherproof but it is a little memo book. You have a uh, sewing kit made in China, sewing kit, clear as day on the back. Bunch of needles at least. You do get a bunch of needles. You have a, uh, this is a four in one. It's one of those four in one emergency whistles. They sell these things on Amazon, you know, so it has a compass on it. It's a whistle. It, does I think it has matches inside. It does four different things and lanyard to keep it around your neck. Nothing special about that thing. You do have some work gloves. So if you are working in an environment, working with some wood or whatever, you got some gloves to kind of keep your phalange safe. Some safety goggles for whatever you're gonna be doing in your survival situation. You also got the pencil to go along with that uh, notepad that you saw there. They give you a pocket knife. This is a made in China multi-function pocket knife. So their version of kind of the Swiss army knife type of 
feel. And to be honest with you, this thing doesn't feel too shabby. The the corkscrew doesn't feel as durable as a Swiss Army knife, but it does have a lot of little tools on it. The finger pulls are kind of hard to pull, but I mean, you do have a, a array of things on here you can use and Phillips head, different knives and all. So at least having it is better than not having it. it says you have a fish scaler, you have a hook uh, D logger, a rope saw, can opener, bottle opener, slotted bit, file, tent reamer, Phillips bit. It's quite a few things on that thing. They give you a bunch, 50 foot of nylon rope. So I don't know what the pound test of this is, but a bunch of nylon rope, which would be durable if they give you a tent or something like that. You can use this to help tie it down. I'm not sure what the test weight, test poundage would be for that. Then they give you a pretty generic looking first aid kit. Perfect for home, office, auto, used by health professionals, rapid care. This thing has um, a reusable case, 35 bandages, a bunch of gauze, rolled gauze, cleansing towelettes, you know, nothing super special about this thing. Um, something you're definitely gonna wanna bust open and supplement, get familiar with. But at least they give you an ouchie boo boo kit. That's that's about as good as that's gonna be there. So we also have a shelter and warmth bag in here. Bust this thing open. The shelter and warmth bag includes a emergency sleeping bag, which is all the kits I've ever looked at. It's the first time I've seen a actual sleeping bag, which just looks like a emergency blanket but they're called emergency sleeping bag. I guess technically it's because you can get inside of it. It's a sleeping bag. They give you two of them. They give you an emergency poncho. This poncho seems to be very, very trash. Doesn't have grommet holes or anything like that. I would love to be able to use this as a windbreak versus just having to only use it as a poncho. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be, but super durable, but they give you two. So if you wanna make something up with it, and emergency tube tent. A little bit of nylon rope to tie it down. I don't know if it has grommet holes. Doesn't really look like it, but at least you have a tent. This might be only good enough for a windbreak. It is six by eight. Then they give you some body warmers, last 12 hours. So really some, uh, you put these on your kidneys or put them in your pocket, whatever. Another hygiene and sanitation. I'm just gonna peek in here. Yeah, the hygiene and sanitation is exactly like the other one. So two person survival kit. Now the other person has their toothbrush and toothpaste. You have an additional food and water bag. This bag is exactly like the other one. So you have a gallon of water per person per day for worth of emergency water. Plus you have the food rations in here as well. Two more additional upgrade bags. Let's see what we're working with here. All right, so a headlamp, pretty sweet. <laughs> nice to have a headlamp to be able to work and not have to hold a flashlight. We have some utensils, which are already open. What's going on with that? But uh, some already open utensils. Four in one utensil set, good for camping. So you can use these for cooking, bottle opener, spoon, fork, and a knife. Uh, okay, cool. So they give you some Alpine air. So these are some uh, rice and bean bowl with vegetables. So you're gonna add the water you can cook. So they give you the stove and they're gonna give you more comfort type food. Awesome sauce. So this is gonna give you 300 calories, nine grams of protein, just add water. Very cool vegetarian type meals, mountain chili. You have the Santa Fe black beans and rice, rice and beans, both with vegetables and the, so I can appreciate that. They are saying just add water. I don't know if that has a, a tray ration type of heater in it, but I'm assuming you could, you could probably eat it as is, or you could actually warm it up with the little camp stove that they gave you. It kind of sucks that this freaking utensils are opening up. That's, that's how you know you are working with some equipment which is globally sourced. You know, maybe you put it together American 
constructed, but same exact kit. So the other person has their headlamp. So the, the thought behind these is that you have the, the actual food bars, which will sustain you just fine, but these would be something warm to have at night. Uh, so this one is a Santa Fe black beans. I think this is the same meals. Yeah, the same exact meals as the first one. But hey, at least you got some. I wouldn't mind being able to have something warm to eat at least once a day. So that's pretty cool. Take a look at the empty bag itself. Pretty much duffel bag vibes. Nothing super special about this thing. So let's talk about pricing on this thing. So we're gonna talk about, remember you can get this in a one person, two person, three person, four person survival kit for 72 hours or one week of survival. And you can get it reasonably uh, prepared, completely prepared or extensively prepared. This is the extensively prepared kit. Now let's only focus on the two person kits, okay? So those are the easily compared with other kits. So if you got the two person survival kit for this um, reasonably prepared, it will be $102. The completely prepared kit is $150 and the extensively prepared kit is $264, which is what you're seeing right here. Quite a big jump for that last kit. Now, the pros on this kit, I do like the wheels. I like the fact you got some wheels on this bad boy. Makes life a little bit easier if you're going to just be in one stationary area, but you wanna move the whole kit around. Second thing, I like the fact that, you know, it is modular, so everything inside is in its own bag. So let's say, for instance, you're surviving in a situation that's outdoor at a campsite or in the woods, a bug out area. You can take the survival items to an area versus having to take the entire bag. That's one of my complaints with like the uh, uh, the Rhino Ready and the the Uncharted Supply. You can un un velcro them and take them where you need them to but it's very easy to lose those components where this one you can just grab what you need take the hygiene stuff to the hygiene area and stuff like that so that's pretty cool it's nice to have a high visibility bag so obviously bright red bag high visibility that's pretty cool the fact that it's prepared in america is pretty good with uh globally sourced materials but what does that mean that means that the folks who are preparing this are not gonna miss something, right? Oops, we forgot to put a water and food kit in there. Everyone, every bag is individually prepared. And they also seem to have some really good customer service. Six month warranty on this thing. I don't know what that means to have a warranty on a survival kit. I guess if the, if the uh, emergency water were to bust open on its own or something like that, but you did get a six month warranty on this. The addition of sleeping bags is pretty cool. They usually just give you emergency blankets. I like the fact that they give you sleeping bags instead. Um, so that's a little bit more comforting. And I like the, for the extensively prepared kits that they have those food, you know, the tray ration type, the food type supplies that you can cook. And it includes a stove, which is unique um, a lot of the other kits don't include that for same, around the same amount of money. Another pro is there is room for you to supplement. I mean, there's an entire open, empty pocket right here. The front entire pocket is empty minus the actual legend of the bag. So that's pretty good. And the price is pretty competitive when you're thinking about other companies like Rhino Ready, Uncharted Supply, Preppy, Wise, Judy. You know, so they're really competitive when you're looking at that. But there are cons about this, just some of my initial thoughts. First of all, high visibility bag. Maybe you don't want to be so visible and this bright red bag is kind of, uh, kind of screams out loud. The bag itself seems to be water resistant, doesn't seem to be very durable. It's not quarter roof fabric or anything like that. This strap, although it does give the traditional vibes, I'm not a fan of the hook and loop here because like I say, I always get cuticles and if you got rough hands, it gets cut here and you always end up bleeding. I, I know it sounds weird, but um, the bag itself doesn't include a shoulder strap. So you only can carry this by grabbing it by this handle here or by using the wheels. I would like shoulder straps. I would love the ability to hook some straps to this and ruck this bag if I needed to, if I needed to get out quick. The only thing I could really do is possibly throw this over the shoulder or something like this. So yeah, it's assembled in America, but it's for, it's definitely globally sourced material. The canteen cup they have in their bag, super cheap filling. I don't know if it's made of stainless steel where I have a more traditional canteen cup here, which is a uh, completely stainless steel, super durable, has handles so that I can, you know, actually hold the hot, the, the heat won't transfer 
from whatever's boiling inside of this canteen cup to the actual handles. So it transfer a little bit, but not as much as the one they include. And it's bigger. This is a quart size. I'm not sure how big theirs is. So you can actually cook more in this thing. You know, so if you can tell that technically their items meet standards, the FEMA standard, ready.gov standard, the government standard. But just because you meet a standard doesn't mean everything in your kit is high quality. That is something I've noticed immediately just touching multiple of these type of kits that some of the items in here, you're gonna want to upgrade. So what's my recommendation? Well, compared to Preppy, Preppy's like 450 bucks for a two person survival kit. You got Uncharted Supply, which is three, four, 400 bucks for a two person kit, Rhino Ready, same ballpark. You know, this kit is pretty good, but those kits are a little bit more premium filling. The Uncharted Supply is a completely waterproof bag with, you know, you can reuse it and you, and the Rhino Ready is sleek looking. It's highly easy to ruck that bag. The Preppy bag is, has leather straps and it's canvas. And so those are premium materials. This is kind of in the ballpark of the wise, the Judy, those type of bags, those type of kits. So if it, we're looking at it on that level, so Wise and Judy, those type of survival kits, this is probably the most severe, superior of all of those. The Judy kits are some of the most popular and most popularly advertised, but this one here, you probably get more bang for your buck for about the same amount of price. So what I recommend is to somebody who doesn't wanna DIY it themselves, yeah, I, I guess I would just be cautious that you're gonna to wanna to supplement this with stuff. 264 bucks is kinda of pricey for the extensively prepared. The completely prepared kit comes at 150 bucks. You still get the bag and you get most of the items. You don't get those extra, so you don't get the, uh, the stove, you don't get the headlamp, you do not get those tray ration type meals. So, you know, and it's a few, anything that said the additionals, you don't get any of those items. So with that being said, you know, I would recommend maybe the completely, maybe not getting the extensively. What would I recommend when it comes to supplementing this thing? Well, first of all, the med kit, you're gonna wanna put in some of your personal medication. So whatever you need personally that you have a prescription for, make sure you got that stuff with you. And also maybe you wanna put in some Advil, ibuprofen, Tylenol. If you have kids, you might wanna put in some stuff or you might want some stuff like Claritin or things gonna help with allergies, stuff like that. Next, I would definitely recommend, although they give you 50 foot of nylon, I would just recommend getting your own cordage. 50 foot will go pretty fast, especially if you fudge some of it up. So this is some 550 cord, so very easily sourced on Amazon. This is 100 feet of 550 cord. So you don't wanna get some of that. Absolutely, you're gonna want a real knife. Even if you're in a situation where you're using this in a house and you're not using it in like the woods or something like that, a fixed blade knife or a big beefy folding knife, you're gonna want some good jipping on it. Something that you can definitely use if you need to, you know, be able at a minimum create kindling whatever the case, because they give you all this ability to create a fire, but not really ability to source wood or to make traps or to cut stuff or whatever. So this here is the Benchmate Bush Crafter. This comes in at about $160, so it's pretty pricey, but I mean, the knife itself, of course, it, it's super thick, so the gauge itself, plenty of thickness, so if you need to honk down on this thing with a log, it's gonna be nice. It goes all the way through the actual handles themselves. So the blade is well made. It is made of S30V steel. And I have several of these things. I keep them in different kits. So if you don't want to necessarily only keep a, and it comes with an absolutely wonderful sheath. The sheath itself is absolutely great. And it uh, comes a, a holder here where you can add your own, whatever you wanna put in. You know, I keep in here some flint so I can actually use the knife itself for striking and so I can use this to create fire and it also has a little button compass on that as well. And you can hook this to whatever, you know, run this to a belt loop, hook this to something really, really well made. Um, if you want a folding knife, something that you can stick in your pocket and you can go with a big beefy, you need a big beefy folding knife if you're gonna be hammering it down on it with a log or something like that. This is a Benchmade Adamus. This is the full size Adamus. They, all, they make a mini Adamus, so don't accidentally get the mini. You want the big beefy boy here. This comes in about $224 but it is a beefy knife. I mean, just compare it to, this is a fixed blade knife, compare it to, or this, this is a folding knife, compare it to this fixed blade brothering here. And you can tell that this knife is pretty big. It has great action on it to be a uh, huge knife like this. Great jipping on the actual 
knife you can actually hammer down on this with a log so really well made if you're going to be you know if you want to supplement with a folding knife versus getting a fixed blade there's other options out there you can get a no-name brand you can get se tops knives there's plenty of different knives i just tend to lean towards american made bench made you also may want to get a um a, a, an additional flashlight that form one is awesome the fact that it doesn't need batteries but there's only one in there there in, in theory there are two human beings to su survive off this so i do have a coast this is a uh, pretty beefy flashlight here by coast and i like this thing it puts out plenty of lumens and it's easy to use it's high orange so you can easily find that in your bag some contractor bags Right, throw some contractor bags in there. These are 30 gallon contractor bags. You can use these as wind breaks. You can use these for gathering materials, for gathering water. A lot of different uses for contractor bags. You can cover the entire bag, right? So that entire bag with one of these and keep the water. One more layer of protection away from water and it's high visibility being yellow. Finally, uh, no offense to the multi-tool they had in there, but you want something a little bit beefier and something with a set of pliers. There may be instances where you're surviving where you need to yank at something, pull at something. So the Leatherman Mutt is some of the most beefy multi-tools you're gonna find. This right here is technically a hammer, right? So you can hammer down on an item, has a seatbelt cutter in there. You know, it does have different bits you can use with uh, slotted, it has Phillips bits. It has a nice beefy knife on this thing and it includes a fantastic, fantastic wood saw. So, you know, you got a wood saw on this bad boy, and of course, some of the beefiest pliers you're going to find on a set of multi-tools. These things come in, I think, about $174. But if you're gonna be in a situation where you need a very reliable tool, you know, I can't think of anything better than a Leatherman Mutt. I mean, comment down below. Is this something that you would pick up, something you would even consider? Let me know with the comments down below. Now listen, if you're not a part of the battalion, we would love to have you a part of the battalion. Hit that button and join the battalion. Listen, this is your first time stopping by the channel. Thank you for stopping by. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.